Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second match of today's semi-finals of War Thunder, Thunder Cup. My name is Michael Zoom yet again, and I'm joined by the lovely Orange Doom. Timmy, would you And I yourself? finally found my coke, so I'm happy. Thank you. Guy Jillaby praised he has found his coke. <laughs> I would love 1100 gallons though. Oh, that would be delicious. Um, and diabetes as well. Lots of, lots of diabetes. Mm, now, love me some good diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nobody can say you aren't a sweet, sweet person then. Alright, this match is going to be between Der Adler and Arcade. And it's going to be on Berlin, the first match. Now, last match was decided by Verf Gaming against Dynamite. Dynamite sadly lost, and I was rooting for the guys so much. Oh, I create everything. <laughs> I create everything. Why? Why? <laughs> but yeah. Now, if I if I recall correctly, Arcade was the one to go three zero. They were. I think but the Rattlers got their clones, so hmm, this could be an interesting one. You know, you can't underestimate that Star Wars part, especially now that Star Wars Battlefront has just come out. The, the clones are going to be very, very, very strong. Oh, they're cloning. Wow, four aircraft. Four aircraft for arcade. This was a new one. But yeah, we've completely forgotten about it. Who are we going to be biased towards? Well, that is going to be an interesting question. Now, both teams are Russian, so we can't have a nationality uh, bias here. But, but there is Der Adler. Der Adler. You and your German roots. Yeah, a strong German name. What about you, what about you Tim? Who are going, you going to root for? I think I'll go with the Russians. A complete wipeout again. Hopefully. That's so. What are the team lineups over here? We see free aircraft on Arcade's team, as well as four clones, five clones on the Adler. <laughs> clones everywhere. <laughs> uh, the Adler just loves their just clones, don't they? You. Now, it, it must be horrible to try to, to call out those names. It must be dreadful. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, team names, definite tactics. In War oh, Thunder Esports. The BFR9, great work from Magnicat. Now, if you saw a Moldcat over here. Both going for one of the last clones there. It seems like the... It seems like Arcade is going to, to take the air superiority on this map. Yep. But again, this is Berlin. Berlin is a... Let's just say challenging map to fly in. Now, this is actually interesting because Angry Cat is not just a player of Arcade, he's also the lead Russian streamer for the tournament. So, he's going to have a lot more insight, not just being a commentator, but being an actual player in this. So, he's going to know the tactics of their Adler. Oh, Futile just takes out one of the clones. That was a perfect bomb drop right there. The guy didn't even know what's coming. It, it doesn't look good for clones, they can clone all they want, but they can only clone twice, because they only have two respawns. Now, let's take a look at the ground here. Not the flags have been kept yet, but... The Adler, with other overviewers, closing in on A. They also have two players over on C, and nobody's going for B yet. Actually, one of the clones is going for B. Which might be a smart move, just at the start of the match, nobody's going to expect him to be right there. But, they can't win with only one flag. We've got complete, complete air superiority from uh, Arcade here. The last remaining clone has been eliminated, and they're probably going to be moving on to uh, landing and taking out tanks. Clone is now taking B, Avar is taking A. Still a great battle over, over the C flag. Let's see what's going on there. Grimmenhells and a Tiger E, the only player on their Adler over on, over on here on C. Now, he is in the Tiger E. But he's taking some major damage though. I see something big and fat approaching and he's got four bombs loaded. That could be a oh. problem for clones. Oh, that is indeed a TVF. <laughs> That's what happens when There's you have to no ask your AAAs, There's no planes in the air. <laughs> he's gonna have an easy job here. You know, I must say, Arcade is, is playing strong here. They're, 
definitely, definitely playing strong here right from the start. Now let's see if Moltcat can actually hit anything here. He seems to be going for Ilya McLaren over on C. Oh, nope, never mind, that's his own teammate. He's instead going for <laughs> one of the clones. And there he goes. And of course, the obligatory uh, driver crash on Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> now we are there back. What happened? Yes! All triple A's have spawned in. Moltcat did indeed, indeed take out one of the clones, reducing the number of the players on their Adler team. They are just full of clones again. <laughs> yep, they're just <laughs> living off clones. Well, them and Igel, of course. He must be their leader. Or he's a fake clone. Eagle, by the way, meaning... Uh, oh, what's the name? Porcupine. It's a porcupine. In German. Maybe he's an insider. <laughs> Maybe he's a spy. He's well, a German he spy. A spy. <laughs> no. Nothing much developing on the ground though, still, each team only has one flag. Both teams are contesting the C flag over here, but they aren't advancing. Ilya McLaren is currently the only player on arcade on this side of the map. Eagle here is uh, supported by, no, by one of his clone armies here. But they have to take out Ilya before going for the flag. <laughs> Moltcat is in a good position, but he can't get anywhere close because of those AAA vehicles, and his teammates are gonna have to do something. Ooh, Eagle takes a massive hit from the side there, from Sky Racer. Nothing too critical though. That was a hit to the third ring, and ooh! Eagle's cannon breach is down. He is unable to fire, and he's he's going to waste some second repairing here. Eli McLaren might just turn this around. Yeah, Eli McLaren does. Mercilessly taking out Eagle. Yep. Even get the numbers out. Actually, they're actually seems to be running out of clones here. <laughs> <laughs> they're not turning fast enough. They must oh, get they a, a the opportunity. Uh, oh, oh we so close. Uh, I mean, even though the arcade's got four planes in the air, they're still dominating the ground. Incredible. That's the power of the aircrafts. Moltcat just taking out the bombs, taking out the players here. Let's see. He's going for one, for one of the last clones here. Ah, there's a wall in the way though. Yeah, oh, he did it! He did it! Home. He did indeed kill one of the last clones. Now, Grimmenhild, the only non-clone here, going bravely for the sea flag, but Moltcat is turning around. Moltcat has oh. seen him. Grimmenhild take out, takes out Ilya, but this is going to be enough. Bombs are out. Grimmenhild is down. Moltcat just being the MVP here on four kills. Four kills! When did you see that the last time? This leaves one of the last clones left alive. <laughs> oh, this clone is not feeling so clony anymore. Nope. Now, let's give him the props here. He is... <laughs> oh, suiciding P63. <laughs> Future being very honorable, just look at that. <laughs> just saying hi. Now, I must say, clone is actually being a very, very... Brave here, despite being the last player alive, he's going for the cap. No, he's not going to win this game by himself, but he's at least trying, and that's what it's all about. He's doing his best, yep. Ooh, uh, took a hit has there. failed just so that he can take out a TBF as well. Ooh, Clone yep. now has two damage crew members. Clone is in trouble here, Clone is in trouble. I think it's going to be the TBF to take him out. Yep. Fusil is going straight for him there. He knows exactly where he is. Well, <laughs> doesn't look exactly hard to make out, is it? Nope. Angry Cat just flying around. He, uh, Angry Cat doesn't even care. He doesn't even need to take out the tank. They won this game. Unless some kind of miracle happens right now. The Red Dragon is opening up with the fire here. Bombs are dropped. Bombs, bombs are dropped. Clone is down. Now he Arcade has one more respawn, takes the but, uh, win. I don't think he even needs to clone this time. I don't think it's even worth it to respawn. Yeah. Absolute wipeout. Here you see the power of Arcade. Arcade of one of the strongest teams in War Thunder, and they definitely yep. they definitely know to show that. Clone actually went for the AA. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see. Oh, come on. If he actually takes something out. I would be so happy if he actually takes something out. That would be amazing. 
Can he carry? <laughs> Can he carry the game? Oh, we actually see some new, new um, tank here. Moldcat actually went for the M18 tank destroyer. I think we've seen that once, like on Ash River between yeah. the Rattler and maybe is it Poldergeist. Oh, Clone is in trouble. Yep, Angry Cat actually took Clone out with the main guns on the LA7. Oh, this was just, this was just brutal. Just brutal. brutal. Absolutely brutal. No mercy for Arcade here. Perfect gameplay, just absolutely perfect. They just wiped the floor with the Adler. Not a single mistake. Air superiority, ground superiority, playing around, having fun. Incredible. More of this, please. More. Yes, yes, please. This is this is, this is the most fun thing to commentate. And short yep. matches as well. We all like short matches. Now, this is going to, to set a precedent here. Arcade have shown their might right at the, at the start of the match. Just this, this is going to scare their Adler. This is going to scare them good. It should, at least. Hopefully they don't, they don't give, uh, give up too easily. I mean, what's it, it would be good for Arcade to take a 3-0 a win here, but we kind of lose the magic of this, of this competitiveness here. And remember, the Adler yep. is not this, a, a weak team here. They are in the semi-finals. These are the semi-finals of the Final Cup. But there's a lot of pressure on the players. It might just be that the Adler went to let the pressure go to the head there. Indeed. So, Arcade is asking for one minute while the player is, co is connecting. We're going to see what the next map is going to be like. Now, it was actually a, a an interesting map to take out at the first game. I think we've never seen Berlin at the first match, did we? Nope. Berlin was usually the last map to be taken out, and the one that was well, not very fun when it comes to aircraft, but Kate dominated the playing game even though it was on Berlin. Yeah. That's going to be interesting to see which map they are going to take out next. Again, there's always a balance between uh, city combat and open combat. I think one of the best examples of city combat is Normandy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you did if you did uh, tune into the last uh, game, you saw what we did. Normandy was just a cat and mouse game of tanks running around. Trying to yep. flank each other, but not actually not actually doing anything. I, I think that was the longest match we've seen so far. And we got Poland. Poland is a very popular match for these teams here. Yep. I mean, I, I don't want to jinx it, but we haven't seen Eastern Europe yet. And I'm happy about that. <laughs> oh, the less I can see Eastern Europe, the better. I must yes. say, I don't like that map too much, even when I'm playing. No. Too, it's a bit weird. Too tight. It's like stretched out, and there's not a lot of... A lot of action going on, planes tend to not fly around, it's hard to bomb, because you actually have to go diagonally. Um, not a fun map to watch. Actually, hold on. Oh, we must pray to the Mighty Godzilla. Do you remember those two-legged tanks during the April Fool's event? The, uh, the Mech Warriors, what they were. Yeah, those, were, those made Eastern Europe absolutely worth it. They, go, they could go for the river, they could go over houses. Now, I... I <laughs> This is just speculation here, but I would really love to see some esports matches with with two-legged tanks <laughs> <laughs> crawling over houses. All right, the teams are readying up. Five seconds left for the match start. Next battle going on Poland again, ladies and gentlemen. This is the semi-finals of the Thunder Cup. The competing teams are Arcade versus Der Adler. Arcade at the moment with a 1-0 advantage here. The team to, get, to take three, ma uh, three matches first is going to go for the finals and face off against Birth Gaming. Now, judging from the way Arcade is playing right now, Verve is going to have their hands full if Arcade pulls this one home with, for example, a 3-0 like we saw last time. And it's not out of the question. Again, a beautiful look at the... Mighty selenium trees here. Oh. So beautiful. I just love them. Wow, we have a new tank we've never seen before. It's Which a really that? interesting pick though. Oh, the Adler went with a full LA7 round at A. Panzer 470. 
going for B. I think this is actually a premium tech. Choice. I think this might be a premium tech if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, it's a, it's a normal one. But I think the premium one has the um, extra added um, mech thingies, what they called, to bounce shells. Oh, so what the teams are screaming for? Attack the enemy! Attack the enemy! <laughs> we are watching Mold get over. You're taking out PCC free. He actually dropped his bomb there. Interesting yep. choice. Very interesting choice. He's going for. I f oh, I know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. He saw that the enemy team is taking out a uh, pure fighter setup. Indeed. Trying to get that extra maneuverability, and he's gonna need it. Yes, yes. Now, the PCC3 is a better turn fight than, than the LS7 without the bomb. So, he, he has a slight advantage here. And, their other air force is running away. They're, they're scattering all over the place. This is not a good tactic. Clone number something is just running away. The other clone is also <laughs> running. He's actually outside of the, of the render distance here. Red Dragon going after him, but... He, what, what is happening here? What are these guys doing? But I must wonder, calling out which clone to attack is one problem, but calling out which one of your teammates is which, which clone, that's another problem as well. Ah, I'm guessing they have some nicknames. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they're just trying to, to troll us commentators, because um, we're not trying they to do. select one of the clones here for the camera but angle. At the same time, they make it easy, because we're not going to bother reading numbers, are we? It's a bit more hard for me though. Remember, I have to, to actually choose the camera angles, and it's completely random which one I'm going to choose. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Let's see how the battle at the ground is developing here. Oh, we have a massive battle over on the other side of the of the lake. What's going on here? So it seems like two clones and Igel here facing off against Avar and Futile. Three versus two, trying to dominate over the B flag here. In the meantime. Both the Adler and Arcade have taken each one of the flags in the city. The Adler having a slight advantage here though. If they... They have A. The Adler have A. If they take out these guys here and go for B, they get the advantage of having both flags here and doing what... Uh, I think it was Verve, wasn't it? They did the last match, where they just completely Kutu dominated. Heavy shot there. Cannon Bridge is down. He's down to two crew members. I can't even see Again, the B game is strong. Let's see how the how it's developing over on the other side of the match in the city. Nozok still hasn't moved. Illy McLaren and Nozok playing very defensively here over on the C flag. They are playing they're just guarding each other here. Not even trying to move. Nozok just firing at something. Oh, he's taking. Oh, this is very smart. No, Ilya McLaren actually here trying to take out the the walls here, trying to take out the cover. This is an interesting tactic. Yep. But yeah, it's it's very static over here. Clone isn't Ooh, moving. Red Dragon's in trouble. He's got an LA7 rod on his six, but there comes Angry Cat. Ooh, that was a ground strike. Yeah. Seems like the battle in the air is actually going much, much better here. Angry Cat currently facing off against one of the clones. Clone desperately trying to avoid Angry Cat's fire here. Angry Cat's having some great trouble. Reversal, though, from Angry Cat. Indeed. He's having some trouble here, though. And he has smoke on his ass. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! oh there he goes, the right wing. Angry Cat noticed him way too late here. That cost him his aircraft. Well, this is a turn of events. Mold Cat is now the last running plane for Arcade. And remember, he has no no bombs. Even yep. if he takes out the air superiority, he's not going to be of any help to the ground troops there. Nope, his bet better right now is to just hold on and stay alive for as long as he can and uh, keep those players from bombing or spawning in tanks. In the meantime, the Adler actually took out one of the tanks here, facing off. Oh, they just took out Avro MD as well. Yeah, They've got B now. The Oswind clone is actually doing something useful, going for B. The Adler takes takes the ticket bleed here. Two flanks against one. Ooh, head on pass, and both of them take it. Was it worth it? Who knows? Moltcat and clone. Ooh, Moltcat is going down a fiery, fiery wreck. 
Let's see how the situation is developing here. We have the Adler with two flags. Nosok is still there. Nosok Again, and the Ilya still that we didn't move. So the first. Yep. Orange, I think they are. A and B are the way to go. It appears. Yeah, but these guys must move now. Nosok and Jill McLaren, they, they, they must know the scores. I mean, they're just defending here. They're not going. F they're not moving here from C, and they, they need to move. They need to move. The ticket bleed is on. What are these guys doing here? I don't know. Having a tea party, it seems like. It seems so. They're just, they're just warming each other's buttocks. Just some they're broke back mountain action here. They're lucky clones don't have any bombs at this point because they would both be in a very big oh, yeah. trouble. Uh, clones might still spawn into a TBF or something because Arcade does not have any aircraft in the air, in the air either. They only have an Ostwind, which is the only yep. defense here. This is this this is a weird match. Nothing is happening. It's weird. Clone, he's still still in the same position. The, the, all of you guys are still not in the same position, not moving. Awfully silent. No, nothing is happening. The, the, what? What? The? The enemy. Oh, Angry the cat's about to meet clone. Who's gonna see him first? Oh, finally some action here. Let's see. Angry, Ooh, I don't uh, think he noticed. Clone. I don't think Angry saw that cannon barrel breaching from inside the church. Clone has a a slight is a, a slight advantage here, but. Still, it's going to be decided by whoever takes the first shot here. Both are in the same tank. But still, what are Nosok and Ilya doing? I think that's some broke back mountain action there. Some tea party. <laughs> 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 too soon, Mike. Too soon. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, Angry Head is advancing. Now Clown must know he's here. Yeah, again, oh. flanking match. <laughs> flanking each other, oh, flanking yeah. each other. <laughs> one's going backwards, and one's going forwards. Oh, Clown is expecting you to go on for the other side, though. Uh, who's going to t he's going to go first. Who's going to go first? I mean, they can hear each other, but they don't know exactly where they are. Oh, they're completely unaware, though. They don't know when or where it's going to happen. Oh, Angry Cat! Oh, no, 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 this is bad. Angry Cat just gave away his position here. Clown now knows exactly which corner he's coming from. But he's not flanking him, he's waiting for- Oh, Angry Cat- What? Ah. What is Clone doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? You just wasted a perfectly good shot! Shooting at Molecat. Oh. And- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? He what was that? Oh. <laughs> Clone just wasted a perfectly good shot on scenery. What was that? I know he's screwed, he is screwed. Angry Cat just took the advantage and now Clone is dead. Oh, Angry Cat now does take a shot from Smoke. He's okay though, Angry Cat is, is, he's good, he's good. Oh, nope, never mind. Smoke just killed Angry Cat. <laughs> Nosok and Ilya are still in the cat circle, they just, well, I guess they're not playing. <laughs> um, I think they're trying the arcade tactics. They must have heard our, our commentary where where we said that our arcade tactics apply well to this map. Just not these <laughs> kind of arcade tactics. Guys, don't camp. And they're Adler taking out... Oh no, 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 actually, Ever flanked around for Arcade and is decapping now, he's stopped the bleeding. But he's taking fire from the from Idol on the other side of the map there. Let's see, how is Tank doing? Yep, that's a damage turret thing. Yep. But see, it doesn't matter, he's capping this. He is capping this. As long as he stays alive, he's gonna be good. He's pretty well covered here. Right in the middle of the houses. Art truly fails him. Yep, he and he's back up. Perfect. Oh, how you're Great play from Avro. Clone here does not have bombs. He must have dropped his bombs before. Didn't seem to take out anything though. I'm not seeing a, a severe lack of uh, TBFs here. TBFs or J87 would actually turn this around here. Oh, Nosok is moving. After 10 minutes, Nosok you finally decides to move his over. ass. Maybe they're just trying to give him a chance, just playing with them, I don't know. <laughs> they might be underestimating their opponents here, but they... If they are, that's very cocky and very stupid. <laughs> These are the semi-finals, you can't underestimate your opponent. They might have, gone, they might have let the, the last match go, go oh, in over the herd. Three clones match. are now going for Avro, he's in big trouble here. Avro! Avro, I believe in you! Nope, Ouch. Avro <laughs> is down. That must have hurt. Is Ilya McLaren moving? Actually, hold on. 
Yeah, Ilya of McLaren is supporting No Sword. Red Dragon and the Osmond also going for for the city. They finally left C, but is it going to be enough? They have three plays over on A. They are like also as B, and they ne they are never going to to decap B in time. Arcade is not looking good when it comes to points right now, and neither does with players. I mean, at least they finally moved, but they just handed the, the they just handed the caps to to the Adler. It's going to be yep. very hard for them to to try to win this by capping. Either they're going to go for full annihilation, which is going to be very very hard because they are they are behind in players. Oh, there's Igel. He's on the left. Oh, Ali McLaren takes a takes a shot with APCR APCR to commander that, but that's not going to be enough. Fantex and Ilya are not in a good position. They're attacking three clones. One of them is flanking, and there's still Igel behind. Just keeps on bouncing. Okay, I don't know. Keeps on bouncing. Nosik is in the cap zone, but he's facing off against two tanks from the Adler, which means he cannot decap this. Take it, but he's still on. Oh, once the clones is down, it's now only smoke pole left. Oh, this is intense. This is intense. Ooh, Nosik is gonna take a shot here. Uh, oh, yeah. He's... That's Ooh. the engine down. Clone just clutching it out here, and he's taking fire from behind as well. I shall just. I just Flanking from this behind. This was a oh. very bad attempt from Look at this, look at this perfect eight. play here by the Arba. Arcade, these arcade guys are just getting surrounded here from all flanks. Yeah. Ilya McLaren is just waiting to die now. He hasn't even seen Igel yet. Nope, Igel is just strolling around yep. now. Angry Cat Red is Dragon's down. Red Dragon is coming around, the Oswin trying to help out. And Nosok is down as well. Red Dragon is now the only player left in the team. Oh, he takes down Igel. <laughs> Oh, MLG AA plays. Coming to the oh, but he's on fire though. <laughs> he is on fire. He tried his best though. He tried Some MLG AA plays here. <laughs> the other just took this strong. I, I'm actually quite surprised here. They definitely have learned from their past mistakes here. Indeed. Not at the same time, Arcade. Futile just gave up. Futile just wrecked himself. He just jade out. <laughs> I, I, I'm lost in words. It seems like okay was too busy playing poker instead of actually playing the game. I, uh, uh, this is going to be some... I, I, can, pre I can presume some definite head bashing going on now in the... in the AFK time. <laughs> Indeed. Oh my. Oh my, we've never seen something like this before. Seriously, what were those guys thinking? I really don't know. Th they just handed the game over to to the Adler. Or Th was it awful. intentional? Was it though? I mean, they should have gone it's with the It's a momentum. very, very bold move to do in the semi-finals. Alright, so uh, let's break this down, let's break this down. First match, Arcade completely dominated the Adler. They just Absolutely. toyed around with them. And it seems like it's got to their heads because they, they underestimated the comeback. They did not foresee the combat, and their Adler ca came back strong. They did not let their morale uh, be taken down. They just, they just. Uh, I can't even say these words. These are not for our, for uh, immature audiences. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. So it's one-one arcade versus their Adler in the semi-finals of Thunder Cup. Whoever takes three games first is going to face off against Verve in the final of Thunder Cup. And whoever wins that final is going to be flown straight to China. Yes, China. To face off against the best Chinese team for a prize pool of $11,000. And your mother said you would never make money by playing video games. Now, both teams are revising their tactics here, taking this time to... Well, <laughs> recover from that absolute pain oh, in the please butt. please don't tell me that I jinxed it. Orange, orange, oh, oh come no. on, no. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently we're going to see the next match being held on Eastern Europe. Oh, God. Eastern Europe, a purely, very, very, one of those very purely uh, urban maps, where it's very hard to to drop bombs accurately in aircraft. Now yep. it's not as bad as Normandy though. At least, in Nor at least here you don't have to worry about uh, barrage balloons. 
Baru-baru. Baru-baru. Let's go there. Oh, this is going to, to, to be drawn out so much. I can already foresee that. This is going to be a, a cat and mouse game between the two teams trying to flank out each other. Yep. Uh, and that's the last of my coffee done. You know, I really, I really need to get myself a mate. Um, Orange, would you volunteer yourself to dress up as a French maid and serve me only the finest of coffee? A French maid? A French mm. maid. A very sexy French maid. Do I get paid with coke? Yes. 11,000 done gallons. deal. There we go. How Orange long does just... my contract last though? A uh, lifetime. <laughs> mm. What if you die in weird circumstances because the coffee was poisoned? Okay, um, on second thought, maybe maybe we should not make the ATC deal. <laughs> <laughs> but Orange, you're just wasting the, opp the opportunity here. Do you know how many subscribers you would gain on your YouTube channel by, by dressing up as a French maid? <sighs> uh, tell me, tell me. What is your That's female nice viewership thing. right now? My next YouTube channel is going to be a French maid. Thank you, Mike. You've just given me the idea of a lifetime. I'm going to go. quit school. I'm going to quit college. Take all the funds I have. I'm going to become a French maid. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeez. take this time and subscribe to the Orange Maid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just imagine. What, what's your female uh, your female viewership right, uh, at right now? Like what? One percent? I believe it's somewhere around 0.2 percent. <laughs> 0.2 percent. That's horrible. As a French maid, you would have at least 99 percent. At the very least. I have a feeling that I would have the majority of the uh, population probably male 75 years and above. <laughs> <laughs> Especially from Japan. <laughs> hey, you know you. serve me coffee. You have to, to open up your, uh, your market, don't you? Oh, I see some orange trees. I see some orange trees as well. Um, little known facts: these are special. This is a special kind of uh, Stalin wood. These are uh, used only in um, in the aircraft, the orange doom flights, due to being orange. Now, sadly, they have less quality than uh, regular Stalin wood trees, which is why the aircraft tend to break down a lot. But the plane doesn't. Keep that in mind. Right. So. Ooh. We have interesting lineup. Uh, Arcade going out with four aircraft this time. Clones are cloning. The clones Flight are cloning, is all but over the place. The Atlas only taking out three, and that's a pure fighter setup. Now this is this is going to be interesting. Unless the the Arcade guys drop their bombs, which is going to hinder them in taking out tanks, they might have a hard time in actually taking out the the enemy aircraft here. Yep. Let's see how this develops here. I would say, I love the, the decals on Red Dragon's wings. Slight Nvidia bias though. I should actually be... So just slight Nvidia bias. I should be offended here, you know, my system is a complete AMD build. AMD build. And I must say, AMD makes the best space heaters, um, computers on the market right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll need one of those, can you send me one over? <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Just get, uh, just get a, like a triple, uh... 390x setup. And Triple? You How about quadruple? Just install two motherboards and have a f eight graphics cards for all I care. Just a four screen setup. And believe me, <laughs> your room would be as hot as Portugal in the summer. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> now, interesting tactic here by the Adel. They are again running away from the battle. Luring, luring the guys away. And as soon as they turn around. Yeah. Enrica just got fed up with chasing that guy. He dropped his bomb, so ooh, wasted some major time here. Let's see how the how this battle is developing at the ground now. Der Adler currently taking B with the Ostwind, whilst uh, Arcade took out A. Arbor MD and Dylan McLaren are now closing in towards C. Clone into C44 in a very strong position here. Very strong position. Ooh, Nosok has a shot there. Critical hit. He's on fire. Ooh, reverse. Ooh, that's, that's his driver down. That's his driver yeah. down. He is immobilized right here. And not like he's in a bat position here. He's got. Yep. Yeah, that was a heavy hit. Sorry about that.
about that. Rest, uh, rest in peace headphone user. That was a very loud Windows sound. If you have any problems, <laughs> contact Windows. <laughs> Windows Master Race. Now, what are these guys doing over here? Each of the teams have a flag each. Each of the teams only have one player on the other side of the river trying to flank around, with Nelsek having a slight disadvantage here. Binet is repairing and there's a couple of his crew down. Ilya McLaren is kind of stuck here, he's afraid, he, he is indecisive, he doesn't know where to go. Alright, so now he took the advantage and went through the left side, but he has two players from the other waiting for him, waiting for him to make the first move. Now clones are still playing the camping game, they're lured around, they don't want to do anything. I think why they're doing that is they have one less aircraft in the air, that means one more tank on the ground. They're just using them to get those cap circles. Let's see at the let's look at the aircraft here. Mold Cat is currently in a dogfight it seems, but he still has the bomb. And he's right over the map. If he can evade his opponent long enough to drop that bomb, he might actually turn this game around here. Oh, he's getting shot at by the by the last one though. What is chasing him? Oh, that's his tail gone! I think that was the Oswind. Oswind just takes Mold Cat's tail out. That was nasty. And sadly, that's going to be very bad news for Ilya McLaren here. If he takes him first move, he's going to be shot at in the side by the clone there. Yeah, he's Ooh. angling, he's angling, side scraping. Yep. Hits, that's the driver hits clone. Down. That's a driver down, that's a driver down, that's very good. Another hit, track is down. Lance is one, track is down. Goes for the turret, goes for the turret. Turret armor T44, very, very, oh, Critical perfect. Hit. That was yep. a great play from Ilya. Ooh, Igel's coming in. That was not, not enough, that was only the the loader, I think. Yeah, that was the loader. Now, Igel did save his teammate a little bit there, but... Clone is still in trouble here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Opening the machine gun fire. As the oh, cannon breach. That's a shot in cannon breach. That was actually very smart. Clone just angled his turret at the perfect moment in order to not but let Ilya uh, is down. Ilya McLaren take out his tank and he is down. Alton now taking this taking this opportunity to advance. Capturing C. Now Nosok and Clone are still exchanging uh, flanking fire here. Yeah, Neither too keen to really pop up. They are a bit too far away from the battle here. Their Adler, their Adler is going strong here. Their Adler is going very strong here. They are now starting to bleed. Six minutes into the game, a bit late, but they are starting to the bleed. Now Moldcat. Oh, oh, oh! Moldcat does it, but only damages the cannon breach. Agil is still able to move. Bounces off the lower plate. He went for the transmission shot, but it was not enough. Can I get another shot in? And ah, uh, too low, too low. Again, APCR ammo. APCR Red Dragon ammo. has now climbed all the way up to six and a half thousand meters. <laughs> what is he incredible. doing up here? Ah, uh, absolutely he's... incredible. These guys here, just think, the clones are learning them away from the battle here. Clones are just having a lot of fun, really. I can't even see the ground anymore. <laughs> Let's take a look at it all. Uh, oh, Igel is in trouble. Igel is in trouble. He has Avro MD on his left, on his right side, and Angry Count on his left. He's trying to back off here. He's trying to back off. He, does, he didn't take too much damage. Avro coming in from the other side. Ooh, he's taking the shot. Ooh. Ooh. As the commander. This is a very good play by Igel. He, he's being smart. He knows that he can't, uh, he can't advance, so he's backing off. There's a T-34 coming clone. He's helping out now. Oh, and uh, Arcade has taken two flags. Arcade has now reversed the, the bleed here, but Idol is still not down. I just can't reach this down though. Now you're an aircraft. Oh, Norsok now has a chance. Clone is repairing his tank. Here he comes. Yep. He's scraping it. He can't he's get trying, around. He's trying, he's trying, he's <laughs> trying. Nope. There he goes. That's a kill. That took him about three and a half minutes. Finally, 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 Arcade now has the, the flank here open, which is going to actually help him out a lot. Look at the map, look at the map. Arcade has three players over on C, they have two flags. 
They have to bleed. Oh, one of the LA-7s has bailed out. Yep, he switched into a tank. A very smart move That's here. That's a very they interesting tactic, yeah. They dragged it to the end of the map and then just bail out. They just saw the enemy here, but is it going to be enough? <laughs> the Adler is currently in the disadvantage here. The bleed is going on strong, they have to advance. They have to take that C flag, or they're going to, to lose by, by points here. Yep. They're also rapidly losing losing teammates here. Clone in the Ostwind. Holding the flag. He's scouting the air for uh, for some for some aircraft, but <laughs> does he know what's coming? Does he have any idea what's coming for him? Nope, not at all. That's okay. Look at Ilya McLennan over here. Very smart here. He is waiting for Clone to come around the corner. Does Clone know that he is here? Yeah, it seems like Clone noticed his uh, his can barrel sticking out. Ever is now or flanking. Something. Let's see how this develops. Very static, very static so far, I must say. Yep. Nothing has been happening mm -hmm. so far. You guys see no plane walls. action whatsoever. That's a good overview here. So. Oh, oh, look at Ever, look at Ever. Going, uh, going in aggressive, flanking around. Ever Smartly not going through the cap zone. He's not going through the cap zone, he's trying to flank around and uh, support Ilya there. Yep. Ilya must have told him through the comms that uh, the guys are there, but there's an Ostwind behind him. Oh, Moldcat has a shot there. Ooh, Ilya is in trouble, Ilya is in trouble. Moldcat facing off against Clone. Ouch, Moldcat has got three death remembers. Oh, Ooh, nope, 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 this is not going good. Moldcat, Moldcat, turn around! You have Ooh. some beautiful camo, but turn around! Oh, he actually does it! Incredible. Molka actually just saved his own I ass there. I was expecting that one. Oh, Igel is in trouble now. Igel is, is in, in trouble, trouble now. He Amor did not expect. Oh, that was a shot to the side of the turret. Yep, Igel is down. There he goes. Avro takes him down. Amazing team play by Arcade here. They just flanked around. That that, that shot by Molka was was absolute clutch. If Molka yep. went down there, if Molka went down there, that guy would have gone around and killed Ilya McLaren. But instead, he took out. He took out that guy and flanked around. Now, <laughs> the Adler isn't looking too good here. Nope, the Adler is not looking good at all. They have an Ostwind uh, giving away his position. Other clone on the other side. They now spawn in two more guys, but it's not looking good. They are running out of teammates and running out of points. Adler playing very strong in uh, arcade, playing very strong here now. Oh, how cute! Another how cute! Game. <laughs> Did you see that? The Osmond actually tried to kill an M4 from the front. <laughs> oh! And you said tanks can be can be cute. Yep, that's the Osmond down. Just hugging the house here. Oh! Ouch! 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 Smoke pole shadow just went up in smoke. Fitting for his name, I must say. It does not look good for Clone. Clone is now the the last player on alive on his team. He managed to set to take out Nosok though, very valiantly. Yeah, Nosok, great game there. Even though he has a damaged turret ring, but it's going to be enough. Oh, he's an outfight from him. Fitzel just flying around here. As the red dragon, none of those guys have bombs, so they can't really red do much. Red dragon might just suicide him. Be very oh. honored. Oh, no. He wasn't honorable. But this is looking very, very bad for uh, for the Adler here. It might just be that Arcade finally learned a lesson and. Yep. And there he goes. Clone just bailed out. Yep. That is game. That is 2 1 for Arcade. So was Arcade playing around on Poland? Which is just. It seems so. They just, they just handed them the win. Just let them, let them sniff it. Let them. Let him just have the taste, the taste for victory, and just snap it out of their hands. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, that was very. Well, I'm I'm at a loss of words here. I'm seriously at a loss uh, at a loss of words here. I think I've never I've never commented on such a such an interesting tournament. I must say, it's been very worried today. Very very worried. We've seen some. 
quick club matches, we've seen some very stale matches, we've seen some, well, tea time in the uh, cap circles, everything. Now, this, max, this next match is going to be a match point. Arcade is currently lead, leading with two points to one. Now, here's the interesting thing. Oh, they're going for a four minute break, alright. So, we'll here's the thing. Off the break. Here's the thing, Orange, here's the thing. Bear with me. Is Arcade actually going to be ballsy enough to hand their Adler a second chance? To give them a win and go for the clutch match at the end, or is it just going to take this win right now? If they take this I win right now, I think there's really just two options. Either they're going to play around again, or they're just going to go for complete annihilation. And I gotta say, I'm hoping for the uh, the complete annihilation part. So am I. So am I. No. <sighs> and it is arcade picking the map, so could it be Berlin again? I, I, I seriously, uh, I don't understand these arcade guys. I really don't understand them. I mean, they They're absolutely dominated in the, in the. <laughs> yeah, they absolutely dominated in the in the matches they played. But I, I really hope for them that they actually handed out the game to their to their opponents the second game, because if they didn't, they must be on some a very weird kind of drugs. And whatever they're smoking, I want to have, I want to have some of that stuff too. I want eleven thousand pounds of that stuff. <laughs> You have a rich obsession with 11,000 pound things. Yes, that's my furry number now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, do donate to the uh, Orange Gym Coke Foundation, uh, where we are trying to uh, have a fundraiser for the Orange oh, Gym's oh, oh, Coke I'll start a Kickstarter. You should, you should. <laughs> Actually, no, you should get a sponsorship from, uh, from Coca-Cola. Yeah, definitely. My review of 11,000 gallons of coke. <laughs> Kill me! I really enjoyed the first, well, 9,000, then it started getting a little bit stale. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got diabetes halfway through, but it's still good. Yeah, I think this isn't even uh, type 2 diabetes anymore, this must be type 5 diabetes by now. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be, even be alive. I'm as fat as an American right now. I'm not human anymore, I'm a... I'm a cube of freaking sugar. I am a walking, I'm a walking can of coke. <laughs> I know what my Halloween costume is going to be. <laughs> oh dude, I'd pay to see that. I would pay to see that. Hello, I use coke. <laughs> that comrade, I am a strong can of coke, made of stellinium. Although, you must be worried though. There might just be some drunk guy trying to drink you. Which would be oh, very God. awkward. Oh hey, maybe girls, who knows? Mmm. Dun 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 <laughs> In other news, is Donald Trump going to get voted for the next president of the United States? Is he ever going to chase his hairdo? I don't know. Again, ladies and gentlemen, for everyone who just tuned in, firstly, why only now? I really hope you have a good excuse, because you've lost some amazing matches. The first match in the semi-finals of the Thunder Cup were between Verve and Dynamite, with Verve completely annihilating Dynamite for a 3-1 win. Verve is now celebrating with lots of vodka and lots of champagne, and, well, they are in the finals. Could Earth that be? Are they just finals. taking a four-minute break to play some poker and drink some vodka? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you have, have to warm up for these matches. We have this. Let's have a little bit of fun. Yeah, you have to. You have to warm up for these matches. Um, so the second match is Arcade versus um, Der Adler. So far, Arcade took out two matches, completely dominating Adler. But somehow they just seem to to give out the game to Adler in the in the second match. Now, whoever wins this match is going to face off against Verve in the final, and whoever wins that final is going to, f to be flown out to China and can possibly win $11,000. Yes, you heard it right, $11,000. So, the next time your mother tells you to stop playing video games and get a job, just play Warfather. <laughs> <laughs> 
don't actually follow this advice. Um, unless you, you like working at McDonald's. At which point I'm going to visit you and order for a extra side of fries. I don't like pickles on my Big Mac. There you go. And also, you have to you have to provide some big jugs of uh, of Coke for for Orange when you work there. And make sure it's not diet, because I hate diet stuff. Well, there you go. Looks <laughs> like Arcade is coming back from their break. It seems so. Uh, hopefully, the teams have revised their and it is Berlin. Here. It is Berlin again. Might this might this be the final map here? I'm, I'm really hoping for Arcade to actually just take this match now. Yeah, repeat game number one and uh, take it home. I mean, they've shown how strong they are. They absolutely toyed a run with uh, the Ireland in the first match. Yep. And the match is starting in five seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, this, this is match point. Welcome to Thunder Cup. Alrighty then, whilst the match is starting, sadly, Berlin does not have Stellar Trees. And that makes me kind of sad. You know, But it has beautiful German houses. Oh yes, the same house every time. Just a <laughs> copy and paste of the same goddamn house. Oh look, that one's a bit longer. Yay! And for some reason they have um, street lights illuminating their fences without any actual streets. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> German engineer, ladies and gentlemen. Seems like no difference in the actual uh, aircraft department. Indeed, or the tank department for that reason. They seem to have taken out the first, the same, the same lineup now. Yep. Berlin again. Berlin is a very dark map, but um, they're just dropping bombs, and they're probably going to be climbing to space. Actually, the clones are probably going just to run away again. Yep, that's what they're doing. They're playing <sighs> the cat and mouse. I don't know if it, if that's a good tactic. I mean, it didn't, didn't help pay out last, last time. time. I don't know why they repeated. Did you not learn from the mistakes? And they, they might lose this match. If they don't win this match, they are out. They are out of the yep. tournament. And our there is goes no for room final. for error for uh, for the Radler. Let's see how the. The situation is developing at the ground. We have apparently only three players, is that right? Yes, three players from Arcade on the ground. Abro is going over for A, whilst Ilya and Nosok, the two unseparable bodies, are going over for C. Now, are they going to, are they going to repeat the Brokeback Mountain scenario? <laughs> <laughs> uh, playing some poker again in the cap circle. It's it's possible. Take him down. Uh, let's see. Actually, none of the teams is going for. Oh no! Never mind. We have a, we have a clone again going for B. We have a clone going for B again. Very interesting development oh. here. Now, Abra is taking A. Clone is taking B. And the guys over on C are just well battling it out. Oh, here comes Moldcat. Bombs are off. Nope, we're just firing. Oswind is crit. Oh, Angry Catches took out one of the C44s with 100 kilogram bombs. Very good bomb placement there. It seems like Arcade decided not to keep the air superiority, not to chase the actual uh, clones, but to just go full in, drop those bombs, and get as much damage done to the tanks as they can. Oh, Angry was shooting at something. Yep, starting to down Smoke Pole. Apparently, taking ta taking out tanks is not enough for this Malt guy. Cat, beautiful maneuver, coming to Igel, bombs are off, and he takes them home. Beautiful drive there. Oh, yeah. Now, Arcade interesting development is here. on fire. Arcade has the ticket bleed going. Arcade has the ticket bleed going. Ilya McLaren is now the only one on the C flex, so he is very Mark likely to take out trouble. this map as well. And he's on fire. Great play from Angry Cat. Angry, I must say, Angry Cat is a great, great player. Oh, he takes it. That was a great play for him. It doesn't matter. He he did his part. He did his yep. part. Arcade did very, very well yet again. They're proving themselves to be a very, very dangerous adversary. Now, the, the other team... Ooh, Red Dragon just blew up. That's not going to be enough though, here's the thing. Look at the map. 
The Adler team is completely pushed back into the spawn. They have no caps. Avaro has the perfect position for flanking here. Ilya McLaren is backed up by no suck there over on the C flag. It's going to be yeah, very hard for Adler to now take just this. Holding up. It's going to be very hard for the Adler to, to turn this game around now. Let's see how this develops. Ah, they are very, very scared of moving forwards. Yep. They're taking artillery fire though, they must move. Poodle now going back into the safe place from uh, Red Dragon, who's in the Oswin, he's scaring the clone away and it works. Oh, 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 Ilya oh. McLaren is on fire, Ilya McLaren is on fire. One of the clones has lost his tail. <laughs> You've got a hole in your ass. <laughs> it's gone. Great play from uh, from Arcade. I think I think this could be a complete wipeout yet again. It seems so. Uh, you know, actually, Arcade is turning out to be my favorite for uh, for the finals. Oh, is it now? Have you made a wrong call? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I like the I like the Adler guys. I, I saw them play the, I, I saw them play before, and I know how good they are. And Ilya McLean just got taken out by artillery. Ooh, that was bad. I know how good they play, but Arcade is such a strong, strong team. It is very hard for them to do this. They're a very strong team. Now, Nosok flanking around to kill Clone. Clone did not see him, but Smoke Pole is backing up. What? Did he take some damage here? Yeah. Smoke Pole did not take any damage. Oh, Nosok is in trouble here. Nosok is in trouble here. Look Nosok at this. Nosok is in trouble. Smoke Pole is coming from the other side, as is Clone. He's oh, trying to angle his armor here, but... Oh. Also gets some cover here, but he can't stick around here for too long. Oh, actually, oh. Clone is taking some flanking fire from Avar from the other side of the map. This is very good. This, this is very great good. play. Arcade is just continuously thinking that every part of the map, from every part of the map, they're completely dominating him. It's a team play, man. It's a team yeah. play. These guys have played forever. For, for, forever. They've played together forever. They they know each other well. Why There's is Spokefall not pushing forward at this point? Oh, Nosok just missed his fire, and the smoke pole is not taking the advantage. He's just not moving. He could have taken the advantage there. And even though Clone just got pummeled by Avaror. Oh, did he go flanking action, flanking action? Clone is not firing, Clone is not firing, he seems to have some trouble here. Ooh, Nosok's He's trouble. reloading. He might have a dead reload. Oh, Nosok. That one hurt. That Takes one hurt. Big hit. Oh, no, this is not looking good. And now Clone just joined the battle here. Avro desperately trying to trying to support his teammate there, but is it going to be enough? Actually, very Nosok interesting. Oh, a shot to the back of the turret. And he takes him. Nosok takes him Great down. Oh my god. But they have lost Mold Cat. There's a problem. Nosok has two crew members down. His is real. Is very slow right now. He can't take them up both. Smoke pole jump! What are you doing? Smoke! Smoke, you just gave him the sight! He, he just gave him the perfect sight there. Look yes. at this! <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, oh at least he took him down. At least he took it down. Finally! Finally, no that went down. A long time. But now Smoke pole is in trouble. Avro. Smoke pole is stuck here. He's stuck, He's stuck between the the two wrecks of the tanks here. You know, Avro is having a field day. Our is having a great day. If he was in Tiger <laughs> E, they would all be dead. A great place by Avery. He just had a field they just sniping from the other side of the map. Incredible. Now there are no more aircraft in the air, interestingly enough. How's the situation looking? Uh, the Adler now finally capturing C. They reversed the bleed. There are about half of the tickets left. The Adler's uh, Arcade still has full ticket load. Angry Cat and Ilya McLaren are now trying to go for C, but they are kind of stuck here. They have three guys from the Adler defending the C flag. Smoke yeah, Shadow. Pushing forward slightly. Smoke Shadow doing some weird, weird plays here, and his turret is on the completely other side of what's going on. He's an interesting oh, I player, I must say. Interesting player. <laughs> yeah, very interesting player. Clone over uh, what, here has he's taken smoking. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I do too. No, Arbor is still valiantly holding the A flag. Arbor is now the only hope for Arcade to hold this flag. And Clone knows that. Are firing from far away. Let's see what he's what he's firing at. He's moving for us though. Clone took track damage. 
Ooh. Clone in the T-34. He's only of other here. Other is trying to advance, but... I don't know if that's a good idea. He's the only one defending the left flap on our case. This is tense. This is very tense. This seems to be very, to be very, very evenly matched right now. Yeah. Oh, clone very takes out the now towards C. clone takes out the the trace of Avror. Avror C. Oh, and there's the driver crash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Orange, my PC does not have Berlin. Well, I guess we're gonna have to take over from here. Eh, it's okay, I'm back. Now, how's the situation developing here? Still no aircraft in the air. Nope. You know, no, well, now would be the all. time. Now would be the time to spawn in the TBF on C and just turn this map around. Well, unfortunately, the only player now that can take out an aircraft is Avror for uh, for Arcade and uh, Ooh, Angry Cat is on Yonswind. fire. This is not looking good for Angry Cat here. But oh, look at this! Look at this! The Arcade guys have two guys in the cap zone. Smoke Pearl is now the only player holding them off from reversing the capture here. No, so could flank around to the other side, but there's another clone. Ooh, Avro just took down clone. Great play, they've secured A now. Oh, there's Avro is now moving to B. He's going to capture B. In the meantime, Nosok is flanking smoke pole. Clone flanking around futile. They're just hugging. They're just touching tips here. <laughs> Feeling now repairing. Oh, clone takes some was blame major clone. damage there, though. Oh, that one hurt. T Oh, set him on fire, set him on fire, and also trying to flank around. Futile is down, smoke is down. Oh, clone and Nosok are now dancing around. <laughs> oh, oh, Nosok doesn't see him, Nosok does not see him. Or does he? Oh, he did see him, but his ass, he's presenting his ass to him. Come on, clone, Turning come on, clone, you now. can do this, you can do this. I believe in you. I oh, there's Ilya McLaren Arcane coming in. has taken this one home. Oh, Ilya McLaren is coming from the, sli from the Ooh, side, clone is in hurts. trouble here. Clone is in trouble here. Dead cannon breach. Dead cannon breach. Dead turret ring. Dead gunner. He is and he's down. Arcade. Noswind. Arcade takes the cap. This is a triple cap. And now the only player le left alive on the other oh, team Oswind is Clone. just took down the Oswind. <laughs> MLG Arc MLG AA right here. Last stand. <laughs> No, Clone trying, is trying. trying. Can. At least he's trying. He's going for the capture zone, but it's not going to help him. They are currently nope. suffering from a triple cap here. This one is over. Orange, I think. Oh, 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 that's a jury. This is bad. Clone is in trouble. Clone is in trouble. Clone he's taking fire from, from multiple angles here. And he is and down. Gone. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh my! I think we have our finalists. Oh my God! What an exciting game! <laughs> Arcade incredible. wipes the floor with their Adler in the best semi-finals I've I have ever seen. Incredible! <laughs> Arcade wins the final the semi-finals. This is it. Now, Orange, what happens now? What happens now is somebody out of these two teams is well going to be going to China. Not yet, not yet. Here's the thing. Arcade. Soon, TM. <laughs> soon, soon, TM. Arcade still has to face off against Verve. They still have to face off against Indeed. Verve. Actually, I don't know when the match is, but it should be very soon, TM. And that means one of them are gonna have a chance at those 11,000 gallons of Coke. Indeed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to make friends with some rich, with some rich MLG players, either go for Verve or Arcade. One of them is going to win this final and go to China. Now, of course, they still have to defeat the, Ch the Chinese, though. And you know the saying, you can be as good as you want at something. There's always an Asian doing it better. <laughs> Cue the racist jokes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this semi-final between the Adler and Arcade. My name has been Mike Gooseboom, and I've been very glad to be your mo moderator. Orange, do your sign out. No. <laughs> Orange is a coke addicted cat. <laughs> right then. GG. GG. See you in the finals.